Well, this is a very, very fast growing segment. I believe that someday everybody is going to want a smart television experience. Everybody will want a smart television experience. This is likely a multi-billion unit market. It is just the beginning. I believe we can make a unique contribution here. So ladies and gentlemen, today we are entering and introducing NVIDIA's first living room entertainment device, the NVIDIA Shield. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Well, the NVIDIA Shield was designed, I'm so proud of it, the NVIDIA design team really outdid themselves. The NVIDIA Shield is designed with a couple of ideas in mind. First of all, it has to be performant. Performance is one of the key attributes of this little sleek box. However, it also has to be modern, it has to look elegant, and it has to look elegant whether it's sitting flat or sitting on its edge. Right now it's sitting in a stand that's designed for shield. It is a one piece anodized cast die cast aluminum that's machined exquisitely. When you get up close to it, it is just a beautiful thing. It feels cold and heavy in your hands, and you slide shield perfectly into it. Shield was designed to look good both laying down as well as sitting up. But one of its most important functionality, of course, is all the peripherals that it has to, all the things that it has to connect to. So gigabit ethernet, of course, it has one of the highest performance Wi-Fi systems for reasons that I'll tell you about later, uh, USB connectors and such. It's designed so that it looks good in every single direction. This is the bottom. And when it's sitting flat, it's incredibly thin. It's incredibly thin. And of course, you can enjoy it whether it's sitting flat or standing on its edge. I think when you pick it up, you'll discover that this is a device that although looks elegant, in fact, it's a different shape on each side. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, the NVIDIA Shield. Uh, hold on to your money, it won't be much longer. I'll tell you all about it in just a second. The NVIDIA Shield. Well, uh, the design, of course, is important, but how it works is even more important. And so let's take a look at what it does. So first off, NVIDIA Shield is the world's first 4K Android TV. It's not just 4K resolution, it's 4K decode, H.265, and it's full 10-bit video processing. The video on the NVIDIA Shield is just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. You don't have a piece of equipment in your house like this today. This particular set-top box, if you will, smart TV device, if you will, will be able to receive 4K 60 hertz video uh, when the services become available very, very soon. Let's take a look at how it works. Um, hang on a second. Was David supposed to join me out here or 
There, and there he is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, David Ng. Thank you. Good to see you. David and I tortured each other for years as we worked on this device. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, let's talk about Android TV. Let me tell you, first of all, why I love Android TV. Why now? Why now? Why do we do this now? Well, obviously, the reason, of course, is finally we have an operating system, Android TV, and the folks at Google really did a bang-up job on it. I think they really cracked the TV operating system. David Burke, Hiroshi, and the guys really did a fantastic job. And we're going to show it to you right now. But there are four things I really love about Android TV. Number one, it's based on the most popular operating system in the world. A billion devices were shipped last year using Android, and billions are in use. The second that I love about it, of course, is the richness of the store that is connected to the Android operating system, Google Play. The entertainment applications and the services, the largest in the world. The third thing that I love about it is that it syncs with all of my other Android devices. So if I buy music or buy movies or whatever it is, it's all available on all of my devices. And then lastly, lastly, it has this incredible voice search. It's just incredible to talk to your TV. I sit there, and of course, I'm testing this device, and it just gives me hours and hours of great joy. The serendipity of the places that it takes you, the funny things that you say and it comes up with, the funny things it comes up with that you didn't say. It's amazing. <laughs> it's just really, really, just hours and hours of fun. Hours and hours of fun. So let's show it to them now. Sure. All right, so David, the first thing I'm going to show them is, of course, uh, playing movies. All right. Let's take a look at Avengers. Avengers, our favorite movie. I guess they, they work for an organization called S.H.I.E.L.D., huh? That's interesting. They just like that ripped off our name. But you know what's really amazing about this? Of course, we can watch movies, but if this was backed up by something that Google would do, imagine, imagine what it could do. Wow, look at that. Chris Evans. Well, you know, he's interesting, but keep going a little bit more. Really? Okay. All right. So let, let's uh, Scarlett Johansson. What happens there? So she is an American actress, a model, and a singer. Huh, didn't know that. Okay, and then uh, let's go down a little bit. All the movies that she's in, Lost in Translation, fantastic movie, fantastic movie. I didn't know that she was in Home Alone 3, really? I think that's her there. Is that her? Okay. Um, chef, that makes, yeah. Island, one of the must, must not, mit, must miss movies. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, just the prestige. I gotta throw. I gotta yeah. Say a few words about that. Really gotta watch that. Uh, Girl with a pearl earring was pretty good. Okay, and then what else? And of course a bunch of YouTube things. Um, you know, it, just incredible. And so you could just search on and on and on and just you know go from one place to another place. Well, let's go do something else.